Now, before we head back to Sanctuary, I went back to the Highlands uh, Outwash, where we uh, went across the bridge and fought our first treasure. Uh, we need to do Hammerlock's quest here, so we need to defeat the treasure that actually lost him, cost him his arm. Uh, which is right down here, if I'm not mistaken. So we need to go past these Hyperion bots. And of course they're hot loaders, so they're gonna be annoying a bit, but... At least we're getting the explosion here. But our new shield, that's not a problem at all. All those... Treasures actually just died. I don't know, yeah, there's a few of these surveyors flying around, so I'm just gonna... Move back a bit. There we go. The shock damage would release... There it is. I was looking for the second one. There's a few other uh, one of stalkers following me, but... Uh, not gonna care about that, because we're right where we need to be. I think there's a bit... Yeah, over there in the water is the area we need to actually use to lure Slapper. Slapper? I think it's called Old Slappy. Old Slappy, that's the name of the, the treasure. So let's place Hammerlock's arm that's here. Right, Slappy. You smell it, don't you? That's the scent of a gentleman. So I'm gonna slag him as quickly as I can, because this thing is no joke. I think I can't yet kill him now. Now I can. Okay, there we go. Beware Slappy's tentacles! You can blast them in half, but they'll regenerate sooner or later! Damn it. Oh wow. Okay. I think I might be underleveled for this. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna go for anything, Hammerlock. Good. Oh, I did. And okay. I disappear. A ghost amidst the combat, preparing to strike. <clears throat> oh, gold. <gasps> Hi. I think if I can get one of the tentacles down. I can actually go for it, but uh, this is not gonna work, is it? Oh, there we go. Did it again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, wow. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Go over there. Because this thing is just gonna teleport to wherever I am. So I'm just going to have to keep moving. The true world revealed. Weakness is now known to me. Time to go to work. There we go. Just going to toss a few grenades. Stealth. I win. Just going with the fire SMG for now. Old Slappy himself is over there. I'm gonna have to stop the slapping. Where is the tentacle? There it is. And that's another tentacle down. He's gonna dive down and try and get closer to me. He succeeded. He definitely succeeded. Oh no, don't go underwater. Just get up again. Yes. There it is. You've killed a creature that Woo. removed my various limbs. I feel, well, slightly underwhelmed, to be honest. Perhaps the presence isn't all it's cracked up to be. Jesus Christ. Still, not your fault. Retrieve my arm and return at your leisure. There we go, the target handgun. Ooh, that is actually not bad. 17... Ammo, and I can show off the TDR uh, aspect of it. So rifle max ammo capacity, don't really care about that. And grab whatever's in here. Okay. So nothing special, I'm just gonna get his arm back, Hammerlock's arm back, because we use that as bait. There we go. And now we can use uh, all of that. Go back to Sanctuary, do Hammerlock and Patricia Dennis, and we have two quests to, well, just uh, turn in. See you guys in a second. So TDR weapons are special in that when you reload them, you actually throw away the gun. And you'll get explosive damage equal to the amount of ammo that was still in the clip. 
which is really, really cool. And it works with pretty much every weapon. So if you have a rocket launcher, he actually throws it like a javelin if you're uh, out of ammo. But uh, for now, there we go. Oh, but you really need to be careful when you actually reload with this thing. Because, of course, you're uh, wasting ammo if you're throwing just at nothing. There we go, in the face, buddy. Ooh, back of Iridium. So back in the flying city of Sanctuary, I'm just gonna check out Earl's inventory. I have 14. That's great, 14 Iridium. I can actually buy the pistol upgrade again. So that gets us to 500 possible pistol ammo, which is gonna be very, very nice. And then we can go to Hammerlock, turn in the Slap Happy quest. Which gets us another shotgun, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Give him his, his arm back. Old Slappy is dead. The mystery regarding who the hell named him Old Slappy and why remains unsolved. Scientifically, murdering Old Slappy was probably a bad idea. Vengeance is to clear. I thank you for your help. There we go. And we get the original Octo. Octo means nine, which is not true, of course, because it means eight. But it actually gets 10 times 117 damage. And it is a TDR, so as I explained before, TDR weapons are like thrown like a grenade when the they are reloaded. I'm torn between an oil painted image of myself leaping over a bullymong with a rifle in one hand and a book in the other, or the same image, except the bullymong is also exploding. Decisions, decisions. I would go with the exploding one, makes for more color in the image. But let's equip that, because now I think we have enough to actually, yeah, let's get rid of the handgun, which we only, only used a little bit and get the original Octo in there. So that gets us a, a close combat option, which is, I think, actually better than this one as well. Yeah, a lot better, actually. It doesn't consume extra ammo. I'm just gonna, just gonna do this again. Just, I always wanna try this at least once. And that gives us, ooh, is that better than the one we have? Let's compare that. So the fire rate is a bit higher, reload speed as well, and a slack chance as well. But there's nothing extra in there. So no extra damage. I'm just going to grab it. Too bad, too bad. We also have the quest for Patricia Dennis we complete. So let's do that at the um, Crimson Raider HQ. God damn, my voice is going all over the place today. No guns for us. But of course, at the end of another long quest. Let's talk to her. You retrieved her journals, learning quite a lot about nosebleeds in the process. Yes, of course we did. You listened to my notes, I assume. I would be upset were it not for the equally privacy indifferent background check I ran on you before hiring you for this job. Okay, thank you, Tannis. But we get another quest from her torture chairs. How did Jack get the vault key from Tannis? So we're getting more and more background information like this. I hid the copious material I compiled after opening the vault those five long years ago. In a fit of spastic paranoia, I did not write down the locations to the information. Find it for me and be handsomely... Oh, were you expecting me to say handsomely rewarded? Yeah, we, we kind of were. We kind of were. But, so the five logs are actually distributed around Sanctuary. So we're gonna find that in a second, so give me a second. So they're kind of spread out amongst the other characters, so the first one is right here next to the Claptrap. I've been relocated to Sanctuary against everyone's better judgment. Not my own, mind you. I never wanted to be here. I was perfectly content to live out my days in a non-standard living arrangement with two ceiling chairs I met at a bar fight. Oh, they're adorable. They barely speak any English. And if you have to ask what a ceiling chair is, I pity the life you've wasted. There we go. Second one. I should discuss the scroll offense in the room. The reason for my relocation was an elongated and systematically unpleasant torture at the hands of Jack's cronies. Roland and his well-defined pectoral muscles were kind enough to entrust the vault key with me after the awakening of the destroyer. Not to be confused with the warrior. Seriously, they sound nothing alike. There we go. So she was tortured by handsome Jack to get location of the vault key. Uh, after she was entrusted with this, with it by Roland. Oh, right. Torture. I asked nicely on several occasions to take proper precautions against bacteria on the instruments, but it fell upon idiotic ears. As they cut into my flesh over and over, I would fade in and out of consciousness and whisper to the ceiling chairs that it was going to be okay. Clark was afraid at first, 
His four legs trembled against the cold ceiling. But he knew he had to be strong for me. Then they went to work on his brother, Philippe. Okay. And now we have the fourth one. Philippe. I, I just... Philippe was so brave. He was so brave for me when the rotary saws began to ply his legs from his body. Clark cried out for his brother, even when one of the torturers inadvertently sat on him and muffled his cries. The last thing Philippe said before he passed on to the great wooden beyond was, I love you, Patty. I love you. And then he was gone. And to end the demented rambling. It's lonely here in Sanctuary. Sure, Clark prattles around on the ceiling, but it's hardly the same. Jack has taken so much from me. Jack has taken the only happiness I've ever had in his asinine quest for the warrior and more power. Revenge is as pointless as music, but on this occasion, I will allow myself the revenge. I will allow myself to aid in his downfall. Mark my words, Jack, you're going to die. Is there actually a ceiling chair? Because I'm not following this completely, Patricia, but... There's a normal chair, but but I don't see I don't see a ceiling chair. Because it might have been referring to something, but I I lost the point. If you know what she's talking about, please let me know in the comment section. But Patricia, there we go. We're done with your hard difficulty mission. So uh, has received the chronicles of her torture and all is right with the world. Ah, the chronicles of my torture. <laughs> I shall warm up some cold cocoa and listen to these again. There we go. We just got a bunch of experience for that. So that's also helping us out to go towards our next level. But I think it's high time we finally go to the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve. We still have a few side quests, but I think I'm going to wait one more main quest, uh, quest before we go um, into those. So we have a few in the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve itself. But uh, the other ones in the fridge and the sanctuary hall is something I'm going to do later on. So we'll first head towards the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve. So to access the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve, we actually need to retrace our steps a bit. I'm driving the wrong direction here. So I'm just going to make a bit of a jump. There we go. That was very gracefully done, if I do say so myself. But we need to go back up here near that tower take the loop around so we did this a few times with the arms dealer run for dr z but up here we can actually go into another war point where we'll be able to access the wildlife exploitation reserve because as i promised we're gonna do the main quest right now and there's a few side quests in there as well so i might as well take those too so we're here and this area claptrap could get through that hyperion force field now he's out of date though he'll need a software upgrade mordecai should have what you need he's camped out near the preserve i think he needs your help with something so the preserve is actually the area that hyperion uses to experiment on creatures like the stalkers over here and we'll see a lot of those when we're uh, getting closer to i'm just gonna try and find these guys because these guys are really annoying sometimes there we go. Just gonna throw my shotgun because it's a TDR. This thing actually shoots weird. Is it me or is that actually converging on a target? Those shells are actually... This is cool. Yep, they're definitely converging on something. And he got a shotgun in the face. What is that modifier? Because we, we got this gun last time or in the same episode depending on how this is cut. But what is the modifier? Octo means nine. Okay, so it kind of merges on top of the target like an octopus. I'm gonna quickly check out the quest log. Because I think I actually... This is weird. I think it still works like a shotgun, but... As in close range means more damage. But it's weird how that works. There we go. Shotgun in the face. And... This guy as well. There we go. 
Okay, that's the last one. I'm just gonna check out the quest dog because there's a few side quests over here and I don't want to miss those either. So we're just collecting those notes and it's in the preserve itself, so that's fine. I'm just gonna swap back to the main quest so we know where to go because I think we need to go up here first to Mordecai. Because he has uh, kind of changed position. There we go. Kind of changed position and now he's up there on Overwatch again on the uh, in that little cave over there. You can see him over there. There he is. Hi, Mordecai. So, all the way up in the cave, Casa hey, the Mordecai. Hey, I heard about Sanctuary. You all right? Sorry I missed the action. I saw some Hyperion movement out in Tundra Express, so Bloodwing and I checked it out. Didn't realize we were walking into a trap. Bloodwing gave me time to get away, but the bastards grabbed her, brought her here. So there we go, Mordecai has lost Bloodwing, if you don't know who Bloodwing is anymore. Bloodwing is his bird, and she's supposed to be locked up in the preserve itself over there. But we need to go around the outside through that building so we can get into the preserve itself. So a rather large area, but we need to talk to him because he has a... Mordecai has a plan on the walls. Rolling echo to head. All my data is on a chip in my bird Bloodwing's collar, including your claptrap upgrade. Some Hyperion jackasses nabbed her and took her into the preserve over there. I'm glad you're here. I've been scouting the place for the last half hour, and it looks like at least a two-man job. If you can get inside through the shipyard, I can give you support and lead you to Bloodwing. You get my bird, you get your claptrap upgrade. So there we go. Easy at that. The claptrap upgrades we need just like in Tundra Express. are in Bloodwing's colors. And, and uh, sadly, they've uh, abducted Bloodwing. So let's jump down. Again, no fall damage. So we don't really care. I'm going to skip a few of the stalkers. He kidnapped Bloodwing, so I start pissing my pants and making threats that if anything happens to my bird, I'll blah, blah, blah. But Blood and I have been through a lot. I know my girl can handle herself. Mordecai, you do realize that's just a bird, right? And they have her in a cage. They can do with her whatever they want to. But let's get into the shipyard. And of course, Hyperion means more corrosive stuff. Is there something fire at me here? Hey, dickhead. There we go. So cleared out the first area, which means we just need to open up the door to the shipyard itself, which is right over here. And it's just with an easy lever. Oh crap! Not an easy lever. So, another wave of Lotus, nothing we can't handle. So, uh. So, let's cripple a few of them. Okay, so we can't really do too much damage because we need to get rid of the limbs. There we go, that's one. Isn't that count as one? That's three, right? That's three. Now I can kill them all. There we go. There we go, because of course the surveyors are flying around. We'll take out those as well because our shield is uh, really struggling if we get hit. So, the shipyard. The holding cells at the other end of the facility. Find her, you'll find your claptrap upgrade. So, a power loader, we haven't seen those yet. Those guys just have those uh, claws that can reflect attacks. But uh, melee attacks can't really be deflected, so... We don't really have a problem with that. Let's just get rid of the full loader's arm. So making our way through half an army's worth of uh, bots and engineers again, but uh, no problem so far. I think I got hit once, well, downed once. The gun loaders are starting to discolor as well. There we go. Die engineer. And then the bull loaders you need to take out from the legs down. And I think there's one behind that cloud of corrosion left. And he's down. Level up. 
this being a story mission, you kind of get a bit more experience from everything. So, uh, level 22. A level 22 blooded ninja. I'm just going to go up here, because there's actually a electrical fuse box here. And if we destroy that, we can actually open up a chest down there that was blocked by an electrical grid. I uh, don't know if I actually get something from jumping up here. But down here, this place was locked off and there's a fancy Hyperion chest in here with some grenade molds. I think I'm still fine with my MIRV grenade unless there's something better here. That is not bad actually. Spawns six child grenades upon detonating. Breaks into a number of smaller child grenades that explode on impact. That sounds great. Let's swap that out. Because we've been uh, using that blue one for a while now and this one seems to have the same properties. But another Skill point means another uh, bonus for us. And I think I'm gonna go just fill out follow through. Yeah, just follow through, because that boost is immense and we get boosted a bit the backstab and resurgence skill because of a class mod for now. So no need to level that up further. And those skills are less useful than the other ones. So uh, let's move on. So we made our way through this shipyard, which gets us a bit closer through the preserve Welcome it the well. exploitation preserve. Jack says he built this place to promote science and discovery and whatever the hell. But it's BS. We're just using slag to experiment on every creature they can find. We gotta get Bugwing out of there. So there we go. A badass corrosive skag. Looks really badass. But uh, yeah, he's down because of the fire damage. I win. And now we have a bunch of little skags which will all die because of the fire damage. These creatures don't really stand a chance. When you're using a, a fire SMG like this one. Unless I need to reload. But I mean, look at the fire damage that thing dishes out. So again, flashy animals, flashy enemies in general are just weak to fire. Ooh, that one just died in one go. We might be able to get a chubby to spawn here. Which would be nice. Chubbies uh, are linked to one specific trophy. You need to kill one. Uh, to get the trophy and they also give you special loot but now that we're here we can get the slag experiment notes and start gathering those from dr Herr samuels okie dokie sammy let's say we start that test it's dr samuels the test subject is still conscious you can't expect me to sorry baby i can't hear you over the sound of people not being injected with iridium right now his fault key didn't make iridium come out of the ground for nothing right so We've got it. We might have... Oh, hey, you're in the preserve. Oh. I was going to do this whole thing where Jack I kind of disrupted me. Kill you, but you just... Well, you just kind of showed up. <laughs> Thanks for saving me the trouble, kiddo. <laughs> okay, so Jack indicates that he actually wants us here. Uh, and we just got the first of the X Slack experimentation notes, which just indicates that Jack would... Didn't, had no idea at the beginning what to do with the iridium that spawned from the uh, the vault key. Uh, so we started experimenting on people and creatures alike. So not just uh, creatures in this place, but also people. Yeah, you know he's a bad guy, right? There we go. Uh, where's the... There's actually a trophy if you can kill a rack with a TDO reload. I'm gonna try that. No, uh, wow, that takes a while to actually trigger. I think there's one coming. There we go. That gets us a trophy. There we go. High flying hurler. Get a kill on a flying enemy with a TDO reload. Oh, Pimon and Toomba. So this is Pimon. <laughs> I'm not kidding you guys. Uh, this is. There's actually a small chance that these guys actually spawn. And they're Pimon and Toomba. There we go. That's the first one. Oh, I reloaded my TDR gun on accident. There we go. Uh, oh, that's... Ow. That, it's, what the hell is going on? Oh yeah, Timo, uh, Toomba. Hello, Toomba. So Toomba is a skag and Pimon is the uh, stalker we just killed. I'm just going to do this because Toomba does not ch stand a chance against the backstab melee attack. There we go, shotgun in the face, and he dies. And he actually drops the cosmetic item I already have. That's a Iridium, and that's a Rhythmic Rifle. Hmm, not bad for an explosive gun, actually. I'm just gonna grab that. 
But uh, yeah, we didn't really get a good spawn because it, it could actually get uh, give you some legendary weapons as well. But uh, no luck this time. We had our luck. Slotham is a volatile, brutal science that flies in the face of human ethics. Needless to say, I'm extremely interested in it. Give me some samples of the slab serum Hyperion is using on the wildlife. Okay, there we go. We need to get some slack samples for Patricia Dennis as well. I'm using a corrosive gun on something that doesn't really need a corrosive R and R. So the melee build is really coming into its own right here because I can just kill anything that comes too close. There we go. If I can actually hit something. The DDR does cause you to uh, lose a lot of ammo since I'm, I'm always forgetting not to reload too m as much as I uh, do with the other guns. So uh, that causes you to lose an entire clip, which is six bullets in this case. There we go. Let's get into the holding cells. Because we're getting closer to where we need to be. So that's a natural selection annex. Uh, we don't need to be there just yet. I think that's another circle of slaughter. The one that was optional in the original game. Not in this one, since uh, you get all the extras in the Handsome Collection, so that arena is now free instead of a pre-order bonus. Oh god, there's a loot midget in here! And he has a big shield, holy crap! So sometimes, very rarely in a container, there might be a loot midget. Or another loot-related enemy. And this is actually a Hyperion Midget Engineer. Which is interesting. It didn't drop anything interesting, but uh, that sometimes happens. Another one of those small things that can happen along your uh, playthrough of Borderlands. So there we go. We start to see those slag samples spawning. Uh, we don't really need too much of them just yet. Uh, well, won't see much of them just yet. God damn it. And that's also something. You accidentally reload if you want to open stuff. I think we had this conversation at the beginning of the game already, but uh, sometimes really annoying that you just lose an entire clip because you did that. Um, hmm, just gonna quickly enable the other quest, because the way forward is pretty straightforward, but I don't want to miss any of those uh, recordings. There we go, shotgun in the face, boomerang. And right now that's actually pretty literal to have a shotgun in the face. Yeah. Fuck off. There we go. So there's a few more at the opening here. Oh, gold. Eat it. So a full clip actually does more damage in a TD or uh, reload true. So there, sometimes you can uh, use that to your advantage as well. And then we have this open area. I'm gonna swap over to uh, some corrosion because uh, I know it's gonna be Lotus again. Just take them out systematically while they're spawning. Oh, a loot loader. That's good, so that's a walking weapons chest. Just gonna take advantage of that. Uh, charge a TDR SMG, don't really need that. Um, and then we have these guys again. So with the Octo, the crazy Octo. There we go. Was wounded, wounded and limping away, but oh, damn it! Stay over here, bitch. And there we go. That's the, I think. I mean, as long as it's just this. Oh, badass stalker! That's a problem. Okay, there we go. Stealth. So I'm gonna try and get the badass stalker from the back or the front. Goodbye. So that's uh, another 500 experience, because of course, badasses drop a lot more experience. And there's the badass loaded. Oh wow, okay. I think I just got hit with the fire damage there, yeah. Whoa! Give him uh, two grenades and that should be the end of it. Wow. That was a lot of limbs. There we go. Explosion takes care of that. The Nova from my shield just takes care of that. I saw a blue 
blue. Smooth carabine. That's a normal assault rifle. You know what? I'm not using the slag sniper rifle all that much right now. So let's try the assault rifle for once. Because uh, it's a doll, so we do get the burst on the zoom as well. So that's going to be nice. So let's move into the preserve. Next time on Borderlands 2, we try to save Bloodwing. Blood huh? sure. I've been doing some really interesting videos.